Dara O'Brien and welcome to my special New Year Mokanani. Tonight <laughs> is all about top-class live music, spectacular fireworks and a non-stop party atmosphere. At least it would be if you'd gone out. But never mind. <laughs> You're in now. So we've got half an hour of brand new material, outtakes and favourite clips from the year just gone to keep you entertained. Hope you enjoy it and Happy New Year. I, I have to say, it hasn't. It doesn't feel like the country's got football fever. In any, like you know, there are taxis with the, the George's cross in the window. There's, there's a lot less of that than there used to be. The only piece of of, uh, of really exciting memorabilia we found was uh, I think it was in sale in Asda during the week. Uh, this is great. It's great for a number of reasons. Not least the name of it, which we can show, is it's called. Wearing flag. Uh, <laughs> I got me wearing flag. Not Get wearable. You. Not wearing. wearable, not to be worn. Oh, me wearing flag. Uh, <laughs> and then you actually get the flag out, like whatever. And it may seem slightly transgressive to anyone watching Ireland, I will now drape myself in the English flag. But trust me, it is, it is, it is worth it because it is, it has been slightly, <laughs> slightly controversial, this one. For, for reasons, I, I can't quite figure why this has been as controversial as it has been. <laughs> I can't see any any kind of negative connotations yeah, yeah. with this at all. I'll tell you what, that Gandalf's let himself go, hasn't he? <laughs> Ramos, Ramos, if you're walking down the street and a number of men, enthusiastic English supporters, happen to be walking down the street towards you. They'd just been to Asda, they'd been to the they'd also bought the burnable lawn crosses, uh, which as I said. It's bizarre. It is. <laughs> oh, you'll find the Death Star will be quite operational when your friends arrive. That's fantastic. Cool. And, and I think it's so think... difficult is you, <laughs> you... You look racist, <laughs> but you look so adorable. <laughs> What would help is if you had a flake sticky out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I like the way our stripper came as a racist. Uh, <laughs> obviously, every year we do our traditional quiz, as you're well aware. We've done a Christmas quiz a number of years now, so, uh, so we're going to do the traditional New Year's quiz. OK, about traditions and things that occurred around the world at this special time. OK, uh, right, quiz question. In Peru, what anti as, a, as a New Year's tradition, what antisocial behaviour can you expect to see in New Year in Peruvian villages? How do they call in the New Year? Um, not spitting, not spitting, no. Eating guinea pigs. No, don't eat guinea pigs in this particular case. Bears phone marmalade sandwiches at each other? You'd think that. Uh, <laughs> of course, no. Kicking the shit out of Uruguayans. Um, <laughs> you're half right. Kicking the Uruguayans out no, of shit? No, no. <laughs> It's a very charitable thing they do. They the Uruguayans burn effigies. Are... They don't burn effigies, no, they don't they burn effigies. They make little models of Uruguayans they... out of no, potatoes. The... Okay, okay, sorry. <laughs> Can I just say, it's nothing to do with Uruguay. Uh, which is... <laughs> so they, beat, they kick the shit out of something. So it's an antisocial thing, is it pranks? Well, it's a fight, it's a oh, fight, but who do they fight? Oh, each other. Chilean. Yes, they oh. fight each other, well done. Very good, James, but thank you very everybody much. Everybody does that, not just the Peruvians. <laughs> <laughs> Do they, do it? Uh, they do it because apparently it leads to a clean slate if you kind of like... It's, a, the old, it's like a bit like, never go to sleep on an argument. Like, never go into the new year wanting to punch your neighbour in the head. <laughs> <is> the, <laughs> the Peruvian OK, right. Um, right, n question two. Yeah. Oh, this is rolling now. Uh, what did the BBC broadcast for the first time at New Year in 1923? Queen's Peruvians fighting oh, each other. <laughs> <laughs> The annual Peruvian fights yeah. which took place. I think I know what the Peruvian this is. Embassy. It's just going to be Big, Big Ben, ben yeah. chiming. Yes, it is yeah. Big Ben. Well done, Josh. Very good. Very good. Do you have any predictions for 2015? Well, I'm, look I'm looking for predictions for 2015. That what's going to happen? I might grow a beard. 
don't know yet. The most, uh, you, you couldn't really walk into a bookies and go, what else would you give me about me growing a beard? Yeah. <laughs> See, sorry, I don't think I'll get very good ones. I'll race you, stuffing. Rob. I'll give you a bit of a challenge. <laughs> <laughs> Do you come off about blonde? Have you ever done? Have you ever done? Yeah. Well, I, I did it. I tried to grow it once, like for November, and do a little moustache, but it was already blonde. You couldn't really see it. So I got my girlfriend's eyelash thing. Mascara. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I sort of uh, painted it, and I looked like Lionel Richie. <laughs> like an Aryan Lionel Richie, like the Lionel Richie the Nazi party can enjoy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Play a lot again for us, uh, <laughs> Lionel von Ritchie. Uh... <laughs> I find it quite good. I, I did, uh, though, meet a girl who said recently, because I thought I had a goatee beard, and she said it merely looked like I had an arrow going up my nose. <laughs> What other setbacks that the Conservatives oh, suffered oh, just for the conference? We've been looking forward to this. This is the man who, the Conservative MP, who exposed himself uh, over social media whilst wearing his blue and red paisley pyjamas. Yes. Yeah. That's that's right. Brooks and Newmark. Oh, it's quite the yeah. romantic novelist name, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, Mark Reckless is a crazy cop mm. on the edge, but Brooks Newmark is your first pet and the road you grew up on. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think he looks like if you pumped up Ed Miliband? <laughs> yeah, he does, yeah. <laughs> and, and, and then just slowly let the air out of him? Uh, <laughs> I, I find myself in the odd... I don't normally feel this way, but I, I feel sorry for him. I know, I have sympathy for him as well, but the penis is not a, an attractive... <laughs> At the be no, no seduction is worth by going, well, <laughs> wait till you see this. This, uh, <laughs> this, is, this is a very beautiful thing. No, women, Actually, oh, you know, I know not no, generalisation for women, yeah. but they mm. don't find men's bits, I think, as just visually well. That is a particularly lovely. Uh, <laughs> is that why there's the little opening at the front of the pyjamas? It's specifically designed for that, yeah, oh, pyjamas. Yeah, so, so in order for you to get your junk out, quick mm. photo, pop it back in again. <laughs> In the olden days, you just pop it out of your pajamas, quickly draw a charcoal sketch, <laughs> fold it up, give it to a carrier pigeon, then take it to a local madam. Or a grass rubbing, but um, you've got to be careful because it gets bigger as you go on. <laughs> There is a generational element to this, like whatever, though, that uh, is, is very much the lingua franca for young people and their... Josh, please. Uh, I would definitely... You're a young man. Uh, is this common now, just as a... Hello, you look quite nice. Click, click, here you go. I'm just, uh, <laughs> it's a standard form of address, I'm told. <laughs> <laughs> I, wasn't, I wasn't expecting to be put on the spot, Dara, but um, I can say that um, one of you has received a photo of me already this evening. <laughs> <laughs> And when you all go back to your dressing rooms, my cock is on your phone, Dara. <laughs> <laughs> well, that is... I mean, I, 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 I thought it'd be preloaded anyway, like the U2 <laughs> album. Uh, but... <laughs> that would... That, <laughs> but... That would be very exciting. I tell you all, and people would be complaining about the space that was taken up on their phones. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you've got a 32 gig for this, baby. <laughs> Do you not think that wearing your pyjamas is a generational thing as well? Do you wear pyjamas? Uh, no, I don't. I, I don't. Were you expect me to say... <laughs> you expect me to say yes, Rachel? No, no, I don't. No, I, I wear pyjamas, but uh, just as a background for my dick pics. <laughs> <laughs> What finished it for me on the uh, pyjama front was not long ago, uh, we were sitting upstairs before we'd even gone to bed, but ready for bed, uh, and heard the smashing of glass downstairs, uh, and I ran downstairs. Well, you, your missus territorial... had just seen the photo of Josh's knob on your phone. <laughs> she, uh, she's smashing my eye front of it. <laughs> yeah. What is this? What is this penis I'm flicking to your usual collection of penises? Uh, I found new penis. No, this looks like Josh Willicum. Uh, my penis doesn't look like me. <laughs> I would like to think that you put a little tiny Very curly so. wig on the top. <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, no, but I ran... It was. It was a, a picture frame had fallen off a thing and, and smashed, but it felt like somebody had broken into the house, and I feel it is much more impressive to run downstairs, like, territorially defending your house in just a pair of pants uh, in a... Rah! Take out, rather than in a pair of pyjamas, it seemed. Well, <laughs> dreadfully you, sorry. Are you are you if you oh, want to be... Sorry for... Uh, <laughs> serious, the, the only way to confront an invader in your home is completely naked. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Semi-erect. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. That, you, the semi-erect is... Semi-erect. Semi-erect. Full erect, too weird. <laughs>
next round is called Newsreel. We play in a recent piece of footage featuring people in the news and ask you to suggest what might be being said. This week's clip features the G20 leaders. Oh, uh, Happy New Year, Mr Cameron. I'm, uh, of course, I'm the Canadian Prime Minister. Hmm. Yes, well, I know that. Have you made any New Year's resolutions? Yeah, this year I'm going to make sure that everyone knows my name. Don't be silly. Everybody already knows your name, Mr... Uh, Mr... This, um... <laughs> Well, uh, Andrew, I realised here that the coffee would be shit, yet, so I went to uh, Starbucks. I got myself a venti cappuccino with a tea bag in it. You see, the thing is that people think we're dull, but they don't realise how many famous Canadians there are. There's uh, Mike Myers, Brian Adams, Keanu Reeves. Well, can I just stop you there? This is fascinating. It's so fascinating, I'm thinking of putting my head in an oven. So... <laughs> Uh, yeah, well, uh, the list is long. Uh, Leonard Cohen, Chewbacca, he's a bear. Yeah, that's right. And uh, another one, Celine Dion. Would you believe it? Celine Dion. Gosh, Celine Dion. How interesting. That really is <laughs> fascinating. Well, welcome to this, the New Year G20 Summit. A big welcome to President Obama and sitting next to him, the man who hasn't slept for a thousand years. <laughs> so, I am sure I've forgotten something. What have I forgotten? Yes. Well, if I could remember, I wouldn't have forgotten it. <laughs> oh, my children! Where are my children? What have I done with my children? <laughs> oh, gosh. I hope I've, uh, hope I've left them with Samantha. Thinking of whom, I'll just pop in another Viagra. <laughs> so, just to reiterate, to qualify for second meerkat toy, <laughs> you must invade Ukraine. That's it. God, this is boring. Thank goodness for Radio 4. <laughs> Dum de dum de dum de dum dum de dum de dum dum. Just one more year and I'll be on a beach. <laughs> so this is the photo call. This is great. Yeah, I'll stand here. Hey, President Rousseff of Brazil, thank you very much. What a great year you provided us with that uh, World Cup. Thank you very much. Thank you. No, but if you want to see a real ball skill, come to my room. Three to eight. Let <laughs> me um, do that. Yeah. I'm uh, sorry I'm late, everybody. Alex Salmond locked me in the lavatory again, so... Um... Well, you see what I come? Look at this. This is a walk I call Crazy Catwalk. I learned it from... I am Robin. Anyway, here is my resolution. You will all smile or I will have you shot. So, on the count of three. One, two, three, beautiful! You've done it. Now, get off my territory. Stop in the middle of Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, what might you see a Colombian carrying with them on New Year's Eve? A dead Peruvian. Yeah. A Peruvian. <laughs> Peruvian, you could no longer walk. No, it's not a, a Peruvian. Kilo <laughs> <laughs> a kilo of cocaine. It's not a kilo of cocaine. Two kilos of cocaine. No, he's it's done not all the a cocaine. Large... That's why he's so strong. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing to do with cocaine. They run with these things around the block in hope. Scissors. Don't do that. No. no is, it, is it a Madonna? Is it something religious? It's not something religious. Uh, no. Is it uh, deck chairs for a good view of the fireworks? Uh, <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> Is it's it like a torch, a burning torch? It's not like a burning torch, no. It's to represent travel. Oh. Wheels. No. A car. A car. Not a car, no. Plane. No. Balloons. More, a plane. Boats. 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 They run around. Not a boat or a plane. Expedia vouchers. <laughs> <laughs> Trunky. What's it? Trunky. Close enough. Suitcase. Still there. Right. 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 Two, one. Keep going. Why were you... Why trunky? The child thing was, that you bring to an airport. I was going to go wheelie suitcase. Wheelie suitcase. No, wheelie suitcase. suitcase. No, this is not. the most fun it's I've ever trunky. had on Mock the Week. <laughs> I know, <it's> crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, what has George Osborne asked the public to design? Is it a plan for the economy? <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, it is not. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> That's a really bad photo. It's... <laughs> It's a new pound coin. Uh, yes, it is a new pound coin. It's yes. a new pound coin, but they won't because it's such a big thing. They're not going to decide, are they, before the referendum's over? No. And then they're going well, to no, have because that'll be the tomorrow thing. morning. It won't be anything so, no. provocative. <laughs> I think it won't be provocative. It'll just be a, the head of the Queen will have a speech bubble on it, and coming out of the speech bubble, will just say, "Not for you, Jock." <laughs> And it's like, it's like a tissel with a big X with a tissel over it. And yeah. a big X. Yeah. Yeah. It's not, they're not coming out for a few years yet. Should we no. just not hedge our bets and put Charles on it? <laughs> they talk about designing pound coins. They've been designing pound coins around my way for years. 20 for 15 quid, if you're interested. <laughs> it should be something that reflects the status and value of the pound coin. That's what the design should be, mm. shouldn't it? So I think the design should probably have a picture of like a shopping trolley on it. And on the other side, it should say, token. <laughs> 
Yeah. It's going to have the coin's head on one side, isn't it? Yes, that, that and, remains. And, that you know, and obviously, you know, every coin's got a head and a tail, so if it's got the royal head on one side, surely it should have a royal arse <laughs> on the other side. <laughs> Prince Andrew, he'd fit the bill, wouldn't he? <laughs> <laughs> they should bring back one pound notes. That was much more fun, wasn't it? Which is better yeah. feels rich. That was not in our lifetime, though. No, but I had one out of currency just because of, like, player. <laughs> That was not in your lifetime. What? No, I'm only young. Bloody hell. What? Really? When, when, did, when, when were you born? I'm um, 86. Yeah, it wasn't in your lifetime. <laughs> <laughs> How long have we been fun, doing though, this show? I remember when it was like Roy Bremner and Frank. How yeah. were these children? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> One day we'll be sitting in your seats telling people we met you. <laughs> Are we doing before the allegations? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> what has Gove said the schools must now promote? My new DVD. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry, so he has to say British values. Like mm -hmm. What has Gove said schools must promote? His new DVD. Yeah. <laughs> say that again, sorry, say that again. His new DVD. No, no, not you. <laughs> Is that Poe in the river, said he, or... Sorry. So... <laughs> <laughs> we know where it's going. Um... <laughs> yes, said Tigger, and we're never holidaying in Newcastle again. <laughs> it Why is this man in the news this week? He's the Prime <laughs> Minister of our country, <laughs> yes. darling. This week's clip. Ah, oh, fluffed it there, didn't I? This week's clip. Uh, <laughs> you fluffed week, it so this much as sleep. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So what do you want to know about me? I like reading, cinema, socialising, friends, and a cheeky farm up the arse. Farm, <laughs> farm um, up the arse. That's always funny, isn't it? <laughs> Arse, I don't know. I can think of a lot of circumstances where it's not the least funny thing in the world at home. Yeah. The arse. Uh, yeah, true. <laughs> oh, I've forgotten. <laughs> uh, the topic is animals. Who wants to come in? That's rummish. There's no one there. <laughs> How shit would you be in the cast of the new Star Wars film? <laughs> this is a picture of David Cameron lobbying European leaders to block the appointment of former Luxembourg PM Jean-Claude Juncker as the new president of the European Commission. Oh, I fucked it up again. It's Juncker, isn't it? Fuck him and his stupid name. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently the cabinet now is more Eurosceptic, uh, but imagine uh, thinking that Europe doesn't actually exist. <laughs> I mean, I had a near Europe experience once <laughs> when I was on holiday in Kent. <laughs> I found myself walking along a tunnel towards the light. <laughs> in the end, someone said, Bonjour. <laughs> so unfair, I thought I led a good life. I'm not sure which week Milton is actually mocking, are you? <laughs> Charlie couldn't believe he was being allowed into the chocolate factory. His girlfriend had been dead against it for years. <laughs> Final question, final question, right, and this is one I do know. Uh, uh, what do the Spanish try to fit in their mouths at midnight on New Orange. No. Nope. Uh, it's 12 grapes. It is 12 is grapes. It? Oh, oh, I've done it. Have you? You've done it. Yeah. 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 Y
Exactly. It is everyone in Spain does it. Oh, you're supposed to it. make a wish as you do each one. Do each one. Can you do it again? Well, uh, uh, you're going to do it. See what you've got down here. Yeah, I can yeah, see I'm where this is going. See us go, right? Okay, yeah, you this. pass them down, right? Oh, good. Oh, good. Is the wish you make that you don't choke? The, uh, yeah, that'd be a good. I'm oh, sorry, I've taken one of yours. That means I've got thirty. I've done this many times. These are really quite big grapes as well. These are like these are like figs. I am betting none of us catch it more than three or four. Have we got gongs? No, and it's one on each bong. You've got to end. You've got to end. We all just do the bongs. No, we have. We've prepared bombs. Oh, he's got it. He's got it. Take them out of your mouth. Your year is cursed now. Your year is cursed. Okay. Do you know what? As punishment, as punishment, you have to do another twelve. Are we the actual bombs? All right. Are you going to use the buzzer for the gongs? I'm not going to use. Stop it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we have to do okay, Grant. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> finally, this is not for the this stuff. Right. Oh, oh. <laughs> there we go. Right. Uh, uh, against the bongs, you have to get to get to. I see if I can okay. get. It's, the spines I mean, are make very good. Against the bongs, are you not allowed to swallow any of them? Or you what? do yeah. swallow them. Absolutely. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, it's not, it's not that. Grapes. It's not like so you can show twelve oh, grapes. Yeah. Yeah. You eat them. Oh, you have to eat the grapes. Oh, I thought it was going to fit 12 grapes in your mouth. What? No, that's not what it is, because that would be really easy. Hold on, yeah. especially when you're going to say... The challenge is, can you eat 12 grapes yes. in a row? Yes. <laughs> OK. <laughs> let's okay. do this okay, game. let's see. Let's go for the bonds, right? Can we do the Peruvian one now? <laughs> <laughs> but surely, if you go go on a website that you you shouldn't really be on, you just delete history, don't you? I mean, the tricky bit is not deleting history. The tricky bit is then going on all the innocuous websites afterwards, so as it doesn't look like you've deleted history. <laughs> that's the tricky bit, isn't history it? History seems to be very empty in this computer. Yeah, I saw you on it all evening yesterday. Yeah, yeah. No. I never touched the. I've never on like that. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Private browsing, Andy. Private browsing. <laughs> uh, <laughs> my my favourite member of the Army Corps. Private browsing. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> good afternoon, private browsing. Are you on duty again? I certainly am. <laughs> I shall be protecting you from any inappropriate sights. Proper pressing, performing for duty. Pants down, proper pressing in here. I shall protect your browsing while you shop for gifts for your wife. Because that is apparently what private browsing was invented for. for. I love that. Oh, I mean, I'm a, I'm a private browsing on because I'm shopping for some gifts for my wife. Oh, really? You seem to be buying her pornography. Uh, are you sure this is the gift she particularly wants? Papa Brothers! <laughs> <laughs> Reporting for she told me that her favourite film as a child was Double Fist and Fist. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I have, I have... <laughs> Private has never had to work under these conditions before. Uh, he's mainly used for shopping for gifts. <laughs> Private browsing is retraining as an electrician. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you leave the army? Oh, I think they saw. <laughs> I saw some oh, things, I saw man. some things. I saw some things. You were there, the man. You were there. You were there. You didn't see what I saw. <laughs> the first casualty of war, my friend. <laughs> Your private browsing, the first casualty of war is, uh, is innocence. <laughs> private browsing. <laughs> Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know why I'm here like Benny Hill. I don't know that. <laughs> Private browsing. At your service. Oh, no, Benny Madam. Benny uh, Hill would do. <laughs> <laughs> no, 
would be like, you know, that, that um, uh, what's it, the paper clip that would appear? It's in the joke. You look like you're buying some pornography. <laughs> Small animated soldier came out and said, Do you want to look at the porn? Private uh, <laughs> Brown's gonna help you with that. <laughs> I'm losing myself here. It's the last recording of a long summer, you yeah. know? See, literally, I, I, I've got to enjoy this because in three days' time I'll be going, Over the next 12 weeks, 20 candidates will be putting in some sugar. Private Brown's gonna get some <laughs> He's gonna get some fucking hammering. Uh, <laughs> I think what? your penis is going to get some corporal punishment. <laughs> <laughs> that would be some major damage. <laughs> and general recklessness. Uh, <laughs> what do you, Trent and Colonel Abrams? Uh, yeah. <laughs> 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 that was it. <laughs> Sorry, I'll bring it back. <laughs> <laughs> Lost it. Oh, yeah, oh so, Current Labour's is great, though. Uh, <laughs> none of you remember... Do you any of you may even remember Current Labour's? Anyway, yeah, yeah. he sang a song called Trapped. It was really good. I can't uh, get out. I'm trapped <laughs> like a fool I'm in a cage. <laughs> like a man in a cage. I'm so in love with you, love with you, love with you. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> sorry, would you like me to carry on with the show? Uh, yeah. Sorry. Yeah, or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> you, you boys have got a shared past. We can only imagine that. <laughs> OK, the next topic is... Unlikely things to hear at New Year. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh, and some prawn crackers, thanks. <laughs> My New Year's resolution is to try new and interesting ways of doing things. That's why I'm stirring the punch with my cock. <laughs> <laughs> I've just had a glass of this punch. <laughs> my prediction for this year is that I will make a high-pitched sound there will be a buzzing noise, and then I will die. Oh! Ah. <laughs> oh, I'd murder a bit of turkey. <laughs> <laughs> Happy New Year! Oh, I'm so glad you're here. I want a divorce. <laughs> Now it's time for Big Ben. I'll put the music on. Ben, get your kecks off. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Hoot and Nanny, the topless bar for the gentleman who prefers the older lady. <laughs> <laughs> of course I can stay up till 12. I'll just have another Viagra. Last New Year's party really ended with a bang for me when I drunkenly mistook a party popper for a tampon. <laughs> <laughs> OK, the next topic is... Commercials that never made it to air. Yorkshire tea. The taste of Yorkshire. Bitter. <laughs> We've got surprises in store. The escalator's broken and the staff know fuck all. <laughs> Dignitas. It's not au revoir. <laughs> Have you had an accident that wasn't your fault and has ruined your life? Next time, use Durex. <laughs> If you can find it cheaper anywhere else, tell us and we'll burn their shop down. <laughs> the DFS sale has ended. <laughs> Have you been injured whilst doing voluntary work? Well, it's your lookout, isn't it? Hmm? <laughs> The Dyson hand dryer. 
It's a perfect way to drown out the sound of somebody having a shit. <laughs> Papa? Papa? No, I'm sorry, Nicole, we've lost him. <laughs> Buy little wine, because poor people shouldn't have to drink cider. <laughs> but what if the worst happens? Who gives a shit? You'll be dead. <laughs> News International. When you talk, we listen. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 that, that is the thing. I, I, I did go to Specsavers. <laughs> Milk. Try and forget it came out of a cow's tits. <laughs> Have you booked Joe Hart to advertise your product? Have you paid for advertising space until the end of the World Cup? Then you may be entitled to compensation. <laughs> <laughs> At the end of the air, the point is Josh, Angela and Andy! <laughs> yeah, you know, have a happy new year from, from this team. Happy new year! Happy new year! <laughs> <laughs> from this side. Happy, happy, happy new, new year. year. <laughs> Happy New Year, that's all from Samoa Thank you very much. See you in 2015.